Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to evaluate the log expression on the board. And to solve this problem, we are going to start with this term, that is log to this term of 16. Now, of course, you know that when we write log without specifying the base, it means we are working in base 10. Now, when we express 16 as a product of its prime factors, then this term is going to be log 2 to the power 4. Because, of course, 2 raised to the power 4 is equal to 16. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we will apply the power rule of logarithms to this term. So, we are going to bring down 4, the exponent of 2, to become a multiplier. When we do that, this becomes 4 times log 2. Now, since we have 5 in this term, let us write 2 as 10 divided by 5. So this is going to be equal to 4 times log 10 divided by 5. But now remember that log a divided by b is equal to log a minus log b. So this is equal to 4 times log 10 minus log 5. But here we have log to this 10 of 10, which is equal to 1. So this is equal to 4 times 1 minus log 5. Now, when we open this bracket, we have 4 times 1, which is 4, minus 4 times log 5. So we have that log 16 is equal to 4 minus 4 times log 5. Now let us look at the entire square root. We have that log 16 is equal to this. So here we have the square root of 4 minus 4 log 5 plus log 5 squared. Of course, you know that 4 is 2 squared. So this is the square root of 2 squared minus 2 times 2 times log 5 plus log 5 squared. Now, if a is equal to 2 and b is equal to log 5, then this whole square root can be written as a squared minus 2 times a times b plus b squared. Now look closely at this. You will see that this is the same as the square root of a minus b squared. Because if we expand this bracket, this is exactly what we are going to get. But now, written in this way, the square is going to take care of the square root, telling us that this whole square root is equal to a, which is 2, minus b, which is log 5. Now, in the same way, let us look at log 625. Of course, this is log 5 raised to power 4. And once more, when we apply the power rule of logarithms to this, we have 4 times log 5. Now, since we have 2 here, let us write 5 as 10 divided by 2. So this is going to be equal to 4 times log 10 over 2. And of course, this is going to be equal to 4 times log 10 minus log 2. Once more, log to base 10 of 10 is equal to 1. So this is equal to 4 times 1 minus log 2. And opening this bracket, this is going to be equal to 4. That is 4 times 1 minus 4 times log 2. So now when we look at this whole square root, 
we can write this as the square root of 4 minus 4 log 2 plus log 2 squared. And of course, this is equal to 2 squared minus 2 times 2 times log 2 plus log 2 squared. Already you can spot the pattern. So you know that this is going to be equal to the square root of 2 minus log 2 squared. And once more, this is going to take care of that telling us that this whole square root is equal to 2 minus log 2. And now for the last part of the calculation, we simply add these two items. That is this plus this. 2 plus 2 is 4. Then we have minus log 2 plus log but now let us remember that log a plus log b is equal to log a times b. So this is equal to 4 minus log 2 times 5. 4 minus log 10. Once more, we have log to base 10 of 10, which is equal to 1. So we have 4 minus 1, which is equal to 3. So we have that the value of this log expression is equal to 3. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.